Oh man! Yeah, so how about that humiliation of the silence on oh, the recording? It was terrible, but yeah. it also made me realize like what was wrong. Like you know, just because I was studying it, like kind of the way I study martial arts. Like if you, uh-huh. you would watch films of fights, and yeah. then I would, li- you know, go, oh, there was a little bit of a timing problem there, and this uh-huh. I could have done this, I could have done that. Yes. And so with my second time, I did stand up. I had the the humiliation of listening to the first cassette. Yeah, so yeah. I listened to that. I was like, let me tighten this up, and maybe <laughs> this could be a little better. Oh, and my God. Tightening Right a little more big. there. But I got some laughs the second time, which wow. was, like, crazy. I was like, wow, I might be able to do this. Shit, man. Both at Stitches? Yeah. And then I think I bombed the third time, and that was the first real bomb. And I was like, ooh. The punch in the face. <laughs> Fucking scary. Yes. 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 But every time I bombed, I feel like it taught me something, and then oh. I would get better. Fucking, I ate it last year. Last summer, I went up to the comic strip and fucking ate it for 10 straight minutes. And I went, oh, shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot about that punch in the face. Yeah, Hinchcliffe just did one recently, too. He said the same thing. I'm like, that's why I don't do those. They, it's uh, not Do comedy where people come to see comedy, and that's I, it. I, I, don't I, get hired for a birthday party. Get the fuck out of here with it, that. It was a, it, it, the only fucking reason I did it. Was Paul McCartney did it the year before. Dude, that what a feeling. You just made my okay thing into a fucking one I'm excited to do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's been a couple of bits that I've had that got a tag from a friend. And it's just like pops it up. Oh, it, it, you're like, how yeah. did I ever do it without that fucking yeah. line? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes like a fresh eye, you know? That's one of the things that I always admired about how Chris Rock used to do it. Because yeah. Chris Rock would go on stage, yeah. he'd work his stuff out, and then he'd have a bunch of guys that he would hire to yes. sit in the back of the room yeah. and kind of workshop with them. I got I do I do similar stuff. Very I have, smart. I have these young guys who are fucking way funnier at writing than me. And I, cause, only because I'm fucking tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I walk into the office and I'm like, I thought of this funny thing last night. Yeah. It's an easy it's an easy gig in that sense that yes. like you you know you're gonna Walking come to work with people. Yeah. 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 Everybody's having fun. Ke- Kevin's Kevin got that going. You got that yeah. going. You, yeah, you have to have that. Yeah. That's gigantic. You got you got like a lot of great stand up friends. All right. You, yeah. You, when you do the road, you you just bring your, your guys with you. When you guys, like, how many of you go up on stage when you take gigs on the road? He did ten minutes. Well, he did fifteen minutes the first night, but on the live night, he did ten minutes. So ten minutes to warm the crowd up, and then he brings on Ron White. Ron White murdered yeah. for 15, and then That's... he brings on Tony. Tony wow. murders for wow. 15, wow. and then I go on after that. You're so... fucking tough to do that to yourself, put on big, heavy hitters, because that can that can get you in a hole sometimes, too, where yeah, people are crushing it, so hard. If you, as long as you're having fun, it doesn't, because no, the absolutely. audience is having a good time. Yes. The, my philosophy is I, I don't want bad comedians to go on in front of me. I want people to kill. Yes. So that when I go on stage, everyone's having a great time.